how to create gadgets and gizmos e-commerce website on Weebly hey guys welcome to this new video in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform so let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account and if you already have an account like me you just click on login and you proceed to type in your username or your email then you click on next to proceed to type in your password so just give it a few seconds to load and here it's loading and after you type in your password you just click on login after logging in the first step of creating your store is giving a name to the store like this so it doesn't matter what name you give it now you can always change the name later then after typing your name sorry the name of the store you click on continue then you have a question and three answers you choose the the answer that fits you most then you do the same thing with this other question and then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be seeing so my store is in the niche of gadgets and gizmos so i'm just going to choose the tools and parts or the jewelry and accessories so i'm going with the jewelry and accessories for this niche and if you can't find your category in here just click on other then you click on continue after that if you already have a store in the real world you type in the address if not you just skip this step and you give them a few seconds to build your store and then you will proceed to your dashboard so this is the dashboard as you can see and here in your right you have the edit style button and here also we have the design now button which does the same job as the edit style button and it's taking us to the editing phase then in your right sorry in your left you have nine sections and i'm going to explain each section for you then i will proceed to the editing phase so i'm going to start with the website section and here we have the edit site button again and we have the domains button where you can set your domain name or create or edit the one that you already have or change it as you want then you have the items section where you have the site items which means the site products if you want to create new products or manage the ones that you already have then you have the sites categories if you want to categorize the products that you created before or if, if you just want to create a category then you have options coupons gift cards custom reviews and item preferences then we have the orders section where you can manage the orders that you have create or sorry you can check the ones that you have see the fulfilled orders the, uh, the cancelled ones and so on then you have the fulfillment section when you can where you can set up your pickup settings or your shipping settings and then we have the reports section where you have the re the site's traffic reports sites activity reports sources online sales sites items abandoned carts and coupons and if you want to see the summary of all these reports you can just click on summary then we have the marketing section where you can find everything related to growing your audience from the email to automated to ads to mailing lists and so on and again if you want to see the summary of all these tools you just click on summary and you can see the summary then we have the communications section where you have the email and text alerts pop-ups messenger and abandoned cards and then we have the settings where you have the general where you can change the name of your company change your email your phone number and your address as you can see here you can change the address email phone number and the company name then we have the checkout 
where you can set your payment processors like connecting your Stripe account or your PayPal account. Then we have the sales taxes and the units where you can change the site's language or edit the units that you already have. So that's it for these sections guys. Let's close the settings and let's go back to the overview to proceed to the editing phase. So just give it a few seconds to load and here we click on the edit side button and we, you will need to be patient with it and it will take a little bit of time to load as you can see just a second while we build your site and here it shows the setup guide if you want to go with it if not just ignore it it will disappear right now and here it is we have the first step of creating our store which is the styles choosing the style that fits or that meets our requirements so here just wait for the store to be fully loaded then you will be able to choose the style that you want so here after the store is loaded let's go with this one as a style so i think i'm going to go with this one yeah this one is pretty good then you click on apply site styles and here you have the site's design if you want to change the style again if not you just leave it and here you can add an image to be your logo change the colors change also the fonts or change the shape of the buttons so let's change it it's already in rounded and let's change the shape of the images from sharp to rounded and then let's click on done after that you click on done and if you want to change let's close this one first dismiss all dismiss again and here if you want to change one of these sections you can just click on it or delete it and if you want to create a new one you can just click on the plus button so that's it guys for today's video i just wanted to give you an idea about how this platform works don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends and see you in your videos.